Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome to my humble abode. For today's video, I just thought like, I feel like there's going to be like a, a part series to like life after uni because oh my goodness, your favourite, I'm going to call myself study tuber, has graduated. I feel I have to do more videos on like my graduation, you, you know what, because I just took a long break, I kind of missed essentials, but I graduated, I think I either put a video before or after this, I got a first class, happy days, have a graduate job, happy days, came back to work, happy days. Anyways, I just wanted this video to be like a quick chit chat about like how life is so different post graduation, how industry level is so different to university level, how, oh, this is definitely going to be a series, but First, I'm just, I think this part I mainly want to talk about like what I do and like my working hours, how I'm finding it. Oh, so like, um, what's it called? So I'm on a graduate scheme and a graduate scheme is basically like, you can get a graduate job, but a graduate scheme is basically like created to help you and get the most amount of experience in like a short space of time, like two to three years. And like normally you have like rotations. So like you'd be placed on one part of the company for like six months, then you'll, you'd be rotated to another part and the whole the whole gist of it is to basically ensure that you have a wide range of like experiences and like you can jump jump or move from different departments so you can cover it all and then you can come to decide which department you want to stay in <sighs> anyways <laughs> i am on a graduate scheme and i've started my first rotation in contracting my goodness <sighs> Like, let me even start about contracting, it's like nine to five life. Do you know, I thought university is intense. University is intense, but it has periods. Like you have like, the, when you first begin the semester, nothing's really like developed yet. So you can like do more stuff out. Your social life is thriving. You're going out more, partying, whatever. And then you, you come to like November, December, before your January exams. And that's when it's like grind season and it's hard. But you know when the season ends. But oh my goodness, I feel like with work, there's like, you, like you, so basically on site, you start like 7.30 a.m., finish four. So you start early, finish early, kind of. Um, so then like, you think like, oh yeah, you have loads to do after 4 p.m. You underestimate how tired you are. I think it's the commute. If you ever commute in London, I just know it's so packed, so long, and you just get hot, by the time you get home, you're just tired. I think what I'm finding the most interesting, not even interesting, the most like, discombobulating and how tired you are i don't drink coffee and all my friends are like ah it's because you don't drink coffee but like i just can't like i just don't like the taste i don't think i'm gonna get into it so like i don't think it's down to the fact that i don't drink coffee but i just my body this, oh so this is week one week this is my second week of my graduate scheme and i think i just my butt i just haven't have, i'm just not adjusted to it yet and obviously another thing about site work i start so early compared to my other people my other friends like some people start like 8 a.m i think 8 a.m is the ideal time some people start 9 i think 9 is a bit late but i start 7 30 so i leave my house around 6 28 to get the bus and then no to walk to the train tube station um but yeah no it's intense my day-to-day -day, so far what i've been doing on site i feel like i've learned a lot in the past what's it called two weeks because and I think that's what's good about a graduate scheme because I can learn loads on contracting, like it's basically like a fast track. You get it might seem intense, you get chucked with all these like acronyms, all these have you done this to the emails will be flooding. But I think it's like you have to get like you have to keep up with it. But what I love is how much I've learned. Like you just absorb so much information because you're on site, like it's you just have to do it, the deliveries are coming, you have to do deliveries, check like you have the right stocks, inspections, um, but daily briefings, tool toolbox talk. You'd be surprised how much responsibilities you get in after two weeks on site. It's because like you're like you're valued, but yeah, 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 that's what I like. Um, what else I was like? It's just like different, like even like the things you learn at university for civil engineering. I just think it's different when you're on site, especially as a contractor. Maybe if you're a consultant and you actually go down a niche, you're like structural engineer and you're, structural, you're a structural engineer, then you're going to probably use your notes that you, you did in structural engineering or like structural design and materials. Those will come in handy. But I feel like on site, it's kind of like different. It's more like project management, operation management, construction management, health and safety. You do use some things, but listen, university and industry, they, they are... Pfft, I know this is coming from someone who's only been two weeks in the industry, but, ah, but they're just, they're so different. Like what you've learned, I think like, you, my personal thing, like, I feel like university shaped who you are. And like person, like, like your personality, character development, all of that. And in industry, that's where you really need the work experience. And like, the more you learn, the more you can like, relate that back to new projects or like, oh yeah, yeah, I did that and this and this is going to work. 
But, but yeah, no, so far, so good. I can't lie, I'm always tired. Like, I just don't know how to figure, I'm always tired. And it's almost like you can only have one hobby because by the time you fit like a hobby, like meeting friends, family, and just like general not doing anything, just, you know, like sometimes you just want to like sleep. There's not enough time to be doing multiple hobbies. That's another thing about uni. Uni, you could do like four sports and that wouldn't be a problem. Volleyball, netball, weightlifting, and um, yeah, whatever your fourth sport is. And you could still have time to maintain your first. Bro, at work, you're in, basically nine to five. When are you fitting that time in? And also, if you go to the gym, like it's always packed between peak hours because that's the most convenient time for everybody. And if you try to go afterwards, <sighs> anyways, I'm going to stop rambling, but... That's basically my experience so far. I think I want to do more like talks, more daily vlogs about civil engineering, how it's different, how how university differs from like actual industry level work. I know so how I'm finding like being on site, being a contractor. I want to be like what you know when I make those like videos where like, what's in my bag as a contractor on site. Because like we have a tablet, tablets are so useful to like do all like your checklists, your inspections. Um, it's just good to have like day notes. Also like the construction site's trying to get paperless, like our site's paperless. So that means like, well it's kind of trying to be paperless. That means like most things are stored electronically. And bro, digitalize, di bro, digitalization of the construction industry is coming at full speed. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed this short but quick talk and I'll see you next week.